used to this by now. Well, <laughs> I guess you could say so. <laughs> but Phil, thank you so much for joining me today. Of course. Uh, so for you, the one thing I wanted to touch upon first is you've represented your country in the Davis Cup. Yeah. Talk to us a little bit about that. What's, what's it like to represent your country, not just from a team standpoint, but from a tennis player standpoint? Um, for me, it's an awesome experience. Um, it's a whole, it's a week where I get to work with a bunch of people from home, being away from home the whole time playing college tennis here. So yeah, it's a great, it's a great getaway. Um, just <laughs> like chilling out with the South African guys. And it's also just a great way to gain experience and getting to play on that level and playing for your country, obviously is an, is an awesome honor. Um, and yeah, I get to learn from great players from South Africa, like Raven, for example, he's a great doubles player. And our Davis Cup captain was top, 20 in the world, I think, in singles back in the day. So yeah, it's just a great week to gain more experience and get some confidence. What's one thing you've learned from that experience and that experience, that experience, what's one thing that you've learned from that, that you bring into your own tennis game or bring into the Georgia tennis team? Um, as college tennis, Davis, it's a team sport. Yeah. So yeah, there's a bunch of similarities. Um, one thing I've learned is I've got an idea, I've got, kind of got an idea of playing against the professional players. Mm -hmm. We played against Bulgaria the other, I think it was in the fall, and I played a guy who was really good. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I kind of got a feel of what it's like. Um, just playing on clay as well, I gained some experience there. So yeah, got, I took some few lessons mm -hmm. that I bring, bring back with me here. What's the biggest lesson that you've learned from your tennis career so far? Wow, great question. <laughs> biggest lesson I've learned. Um, I think it's the tennis is a sport where it's not over until the last point's done. Okay. Anything can happen and I feel like you have to believe that anything can happen until the last point's done. It's not over until the fat lady sings as they say. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's one thing. You just gotta never give up because you never know what's gonna happen. You just gotta believe that you can do it. And would you, how would you describe your game then? Would you describe it as like more of a hustling or how would you describe it to someone that may have not seen you play? I'd say I'm, I'm, I'm a hustler. Okay. Uh, I'd say I have a pretty physical game. I try and make it tough physically for the opponents. Mm -hmm. um, I defend pretty well. I'd say I'm an aggressive baseline and I like hitting through the court mm -hmm. and I like coming in and trying to take the ball early and, and get to the net. Even though sometimes I need to do it more and I don't do it <laughs> that, that much, but yeah. I'd say I'm, I'm, I'm a hustler on court. And you not only played players on your team, but you've played, and I've asked Ethan the same question, is you've played against each other in big yeah. scenarios and big tournaments. And how do you, and he said that it's like an everyday match. Yeah. Would you say that that's something similar for when you play someone, a close friend on a different stage that's not necessarily a college tennis match? Yeah. Crazy actually, because I played, when we were playing Vanderbilt, I played one of my best friends that I, that I grew up playing tennis with. He mm -hmm. lived a couple of blocks away from my house. So wow. yeah, it's, it's, it's always difficult because um, you kind of, you have to approach the match as just another tennis match. You have to mentally prepare the same way. You have to do the same things because at the end of the day, it's just a tennis match. And when you step up co off court, everything is fine. So yeah, I would just say, I've learned that you have to approach it the same. Um, and not think about who's on the other side and just play against the yellow ball, just to chase it down. <laughs> what makes South African tennis so special? Damn. Um, Why are these tough questions or is... No, 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 <laughs> okay. good questions, good questions. It's making me think. Um, I think it's special because I feel like South Africa is a very special country. It's a very diverse country. Um, it's a country full of people that like to play tennis and they enjoy the sport. So. As I said, playing for South Africa and getting the name of our country out there, it's, it's a great honor. And yeah, there's been a bunch of legends back in the day from South Africa, like Kevin Curran, Donnie Fisser, a bunch of those guys that- Wayne Ferreira. Wayne Ferreira, and now Lloyd yeah. that, that's playing. So yeah, keeping it going, trying to, trying, to, trying to keep South African tennis on the rise. And, and for you too, what, what made it possible to get to Georgia? for you as a tennis player? What made you decide to come here? So being from South Africa, it's a bit harder. Absolutely. Um, Cause there are not as much tournaments in our region or where mm -hmm. we are. So what I did, I grew up in South Africa, went to high school there, normal public school, but I played a bunch of international junior tournaments, like mm -hmm. ITF tournaments. And 
I played in Miami. I was playing Eddie Hur and Jamie was there. Okay. Oh no. Yeah, Jamie was there and Manny was at Orange Bowl. So okay. kind of through the ITF tournaments and getting my ranking up, I, th I guess they saw my name and they, they <laughs> kind of liked what I was doing. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's how they contacted me and that's how, that's how I ended up here. And how would you describe yourself once you graduate, once you move on and evolve from Georgia tennis, how would you describe your career here? at the end of the day. If you were to look back, say, 10 years down the line, how would you want to be remembered here at Georgia? Man, it's been a great experience. I've really enjoyed my, my time here the past, I, mean, I guess it's five years now <laughs> with COVID and everything that happened. But yeah, I've, a lot of lessons has been learned. I feel like the program, the tennis program, it's always been a great program. The coaches are awesome. Manny and Jamie are awesome people mm -hmm. um, off the tennis court. So. A lot of lessons learned and especially the college experience just gave me the tools that I needed in life in order to make the best out of situations that I find myself in because I feel like I, I learned how to balance different aspects like the social life of it, the tennis life and academics. So I feel like those lessons that I've learned I can use and utilize in different areas of my life in the future. So my last question to you is what's one thing that Jamie and Manny have taught you at your time at Georgia? <laughs> They've taught me a lot of things. What's like um, one thing that's always ringing in your head at the end of the day? Or like at every practice, you're like, they always say this. Yeah. Jamie, big, big energy guy. Okay. He always brings the energy. Every time I practice, full of positivity. And yeah, he tells us every day just to be positive. And a bunch of the times I practice, the guys kind of joke around a little bit, a bit of sarcasm. <laughs> one thing he always says is that sarcasm is a form of negativity. And that kind of, that okay. kind of rings with me and then, and it's true. Um, so yeah, he brings energy. Manny has a lot of wisdom. I mean, he's played tennis for so long and he is saying that he's forgotten more about tennis than we know. So yeah, wow. <laughs> that's pretty cool to say. That is a really cool say. Yeah. I've never heard that before. So yeah, he's, he's been around the block and just getting to learn from him and all his wisdom. It's yeah, it's a great honor awesome. and, a, and a privilege. Perfect. Thanks Phil, I really Thank appreciate you so it. Much. Thank you, yeah. No Thanks. worries.